Hi everyone, happy Friday. I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I wanted to share two packages that I got in the mail. The first one is wax. So this one is from my um, Vintage Chic Sense order from Black Friday when she released, I don't even know how many, maybe like 20 different loaves. And she offered like tiered discounts. So the first day, I think it was 25% off. Um, Saturday, I think it was 20% off. And Sunday, it was like 15% off. Um, so I ordered pretty much right away, I think on Friday when she released. And then I thought I'd share my only non-wax item, which is um, a nail polish brand called ILNP, which I'm assuming stands for I Love Nail Polish. Um, I ordered them for the first time. I ordered from them for the first time last Black Friday. Then I made one small order in the summer, but then I, I just never made another order because it's like, it's not expensive for nail polish. It's in line with other brands like OPI, Essie, um, China, Gla China Glaze, Orly, but it's just, I don't know. I have so much nail polish that I had no reason to, to make more orders, but since Black Friday rolled around again, they had 25% off. So I decided to make my like yearly purchase. Um, so I'll share that at the end if you guys are curious. If you guys are just here for the wax, I'll show you my Vintage Chic um, order first. So like I said, I ordered on Black Friday, um, November 26th. It shipped December 1st and it arrived today, December 3rd. So pretty quick shipping. Um, I had plans to get four loaves, but stuff went so quickly. Like I said, I think I was on the site pretty soon after she launched she didn't have a specific like time that she launched she just said she launched on facebook so i mean who knows maybe i was like 20 30 minutes late i'm not really sure but one thing that i wanted was already sold out and loaves were going pretty fast i think i had kind of mentioned to you guys in my chop and chat like etsy it's nice but also like makes you want to check out really quick on Etsy because it says like, oh, seven loaves available in 30 carts. So then I'm like, oh my gosh, things were going so quickly that I just was like, okay, no time to browse. I'm just ordering. Um, she only restocked loaves for this pre-sale, but, um, but she, she had some items, like some shaped items on her web, on her Etsy site that was part of the sale, but I didn't even bother to look. I just got my three loaves and checked out. So the one that I wanted to get that was sold out was called Ralphie's Pajamas and that was Sugar Cookies, Fresh Strawberries, and Fluffy Marshmallow Noel. But that one was gone so I got um, these three which I'll show you here. Here's what it looks like on top. So there's a little layer of tissue paper protecting it. Um, there was also a little layer of bubble wrap. Um, a little package here that I'm assuming is the sample. And my sample was in, oh my gosh. Okay, this is funny. So it's in Collectible Lunchbox, which I have um, a Blossom Bar of, and I did get a loaf of in here. So I'll show you guys that, um, and I'll tell you my reasoning for getting the loaf. So um, Collectible Lunchbox is the coveted scent in peanut butter, sweet raspberry jam, and zucchini bread so good you know actually this one smells a lot more heavy on the heavy on the zucchini bread at least right away mm, that's good yeah i actually don't smell much raspberry jam at all in this sample but it was just poured 11 30 so this is pretty fresh so that was my sample in this order let's see what i grabbed first okay so this one i grabbed called Goodbye and good night, bang. This is rich, rich vanilla cupcakes topped with peanut butter cream, peanut butter cream cheese frosting, poured November thirtieth. Wow. So this was poured after I bought it, I guess. Um, so this is the sense if you can see it. Um, and it's got some light glitter in there. So it is kind of a creamy vanilla. I smell a little bit of that peanut butter, but it was just poured. And I've kind of found that I think peanut butter needs a little bit longer cure time. I don't know if this is coming up on camera, but there's some really pretty like light 
kind of iridescent glitter in there. Okay, it smelled way stronger in the bag, but I've come to realize, like, I know I hauled some peanut butter scents a while back and I couldn't really smell, smell them much, but I've already found going back and smelling them a few days after, a week after, two weeks after, they already smell way stronger. So she pours her stuff so fresh that I really do think it benefits to let it sit for a few weeks. But in the bag, it does smell kind of like a lightly peanut butter cream cheese frosting kind of a scent. So I'm excited about this one. I'll just let it sit in here. These are actually my first loafs from Vintage Chic Scents. I've only gotten Blossom Bars and then different like shapes from her. Well, Blossom Bar, only one Blossom Bar. The next one I grabbed, okay, so this one's Collectible Lunchbox. Her loaves are very pretty. And this is again, Raspberry Jam, Peanut Butter and Zucchini Bread poured November 30th. So I have this in a Blossom Bar. The reason I got it in a loaf is because I haven't had the, car the heart yet to cut into my Blossom Bar. I kind of want to leave it in its beautiful form. I know that's so dumb, but I feel like you fellow wax lovers will un understand. Like I just want to keep it in its like pristine condition. So I figured uh, I'll get a loaf and chop into this. Um, I know this one I'll have to let sit for a little bit, but I, I do really like this scent. So I figured like, why not just grab it in a loaf? Um, so let's see how this one smells. This one's super pretty. Right away I get the zucchini bread again, maybe a tiny bit of peanut butter, but I do get the raspberry jam more in this one than the sample, which is kind of funny because they were poured on the same day, so they might have even been from the same batch. But I don't know, I guess different shapes, different like containers they're in. Maybe I smell the scent more. Mmm. I love it. I feel like her raspberry is almost like it's almost like a body care kind of a raspberry scent. Like, I think I mentioned this when I smelled my Blossom Bar, but I would bathe in that. It smells so pretty. Um, all right, then my last loaf that I got, oh my gosh, this color is beautiful. I got My Favorite Things, again, poured November 30th, and this is Fresh Picked Strawberries, Fresh Baked Bread, and Vanilla Butter Fudge. So I definitely wanted to pick up a strawberry scent. Um, like I said, I wanted to also get that Ralphie's pajamas, but I didn't get that uh, get that in time. So I figured, you know what, let me grab this. I was also close to getting a different one that was like, I think strawberry pound cake and like vanilla cupcakes or something like that. But I ended up opting to get this one because I thought it sounded a little bit more unique. So here's what the label looks like. Look how pretty it is. It's a really pretty like bubblegum pink with that really nice light iridescent shimmer glitter in there but it's not like the chunky glitter or anything so it's really nice like this isn't going to be an issue at all getting out of your warmer i don't think wow really pretty i love her fresh picked strawberries um i would say number one i'm getting the fresh picked strawberries and the fresh baked bread i don't think i'm getting much of the vanilla butter fudge right at the moment but I do get a little bit of that yeastiness from the bread. And that really, that nice sweetness from the fresh picked strawberries. So I really like this one. Another one that intrigues me that I want to try one day is her, like, it's like collectible lunchbox, but instead of raspberry jam, strawberry jam. I really want to try that one day too, because I love those kind of scents. Um, but anyway, so that's, these are my, um... I'll just show you my three loafs from Vintage Chic Scents. So now, if you guys want to hang out a little bit longer, I want to show my ILNP nail polish haul. Um, I love nail polish. I also really like um, makeup. I used to be really into makeup and nail polish um, in like middle school, high school, early years of college. And I still love it, but I don't buy makeup nearly as much as I used to. And um, nail polish I like, usually I'll end up picking it up like 
when we go to like Marshalls or Home Goods, I'll pick up like a, a nail polish bottle or two. Um, I don't pick it up as frequently when I just like go out and about. Sometimes I'll get some Essie nail polishes from Target, but in general, like I have so much that I try not to buy it too much. But I don't know, I love like painting my nails. I find it like a really fun hobby, fun way to like switch things up. I don't ever get my nails done. I just do it myself because I just, I just think it's fun. So I thought I'd pick up, like take advantage of the sale and pick up a few of the nail polishes because I really, really like the ILMP nail polish. It is so good. It doesn't chip. Like it's honestly the best formula that, that I've ever tried. Um, it is a little on the pricey side. It's $10 a bottle. That's kind of in line with like other nail polish brands. I think OPI might be like $12. Essie I think is close to $10. So it's kind of like what that range is for like, I guess the like medium to higher end nail polish. So this is what it looks like in here. Um, and then they do give you like a packaging slip. And then, so in here, these are kind of individually wrapped in these boxes. And then I'm not sure if this is for gifting or what, but there's a little piece of folded tissue in here with really cute like branding. Um, I'll just show you guys. Oh, there's that upside down. So it says like ILNP Nail Polish Boutique. All right, so I got, looks like four boxes. Um, I've ordered from the, in the past and I think I've only gotten eight at a time. And it there was like a tray that lined in perfectly in here with eight, but I, I'm not sure if this is like new packaging or because I ordered more this time. So let's open this first box, so pretty. So it looks like there's five nail polishes can fit in the box. I love the holographic labels, so pretty. And it's packaged really well, like each nail polish is packaged up in this kind of like a box. So let's just go through. Um, the first one I got is called Good Vibes. And this is the blue color. And let me take it out. Maybe I'll show you guys this first one and then I'll pause really quick and unbox them all just so I'm not like unboxing them all with you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I think if I remember correctly, this is like one of the like jelly formulas. So here's what it looks like. So pretty. I can't wait to paint my nails. Um, I love this nail polish, like I said. So this one is called Good Vibes. All right, so I'm going to pause really quick and I will unbox all the nail polish and we'll go, just go through them kind of quickly one by one. All right, I have them all unboxed now. I was thinking too while I was unboxing, let me know if you guys are interested in like a nail polish collection slash declutter because I'm kind of trying to like, I think I want to go through my collection and figure out like which nail polishes I like, which ones I don't reach for, which ones I don't like the formula on, like which ones are just old and I need to toss, or which ones can I like give away to friends. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in like a nail polish collection declutter. I can kind of like show you guys that. Um, but anyway, so the first one we did was Good Vibes. Um, I'm just going to kind of pick at random. The next one I got is Blueprint. So pretty. I love like all sorts of different bright colors. I'm not afraid of like color on the nails. So yeah, you'll kind of see I got like some bright colors, some neutrals, some summer, some like whatever. I wear colors any time of the year. So this one looks so pretty. This is Jinx. It kind of looks like it might be a jelly formula. And then this is what it looks like. How pretty is that? It's kind of like a deep, deep jelly, maybe black base with like holographic or not holographic, but like two-toned red and like green glitter flakes in it. This one I thought would be kind of pretty around the holidays, Love Me Not. And this is a really nice like kind of lighter red shimmer color. Then I got Kiss and Tell. Some of these are from like collections, but I didn't get like any full collections. This is kind of like a peachy holographic nail polish. 
most of their nail polish, like I said, it doesn't chip for me. Um, and most of it is opaque in two coats. The jellies, though, I usually do like three. Um, the next one is Sweet Dreams. So pretty. I love this purple. It's a really good, like, medium toned purple. Not too light, not too deep. And that's got, like, holographic glitter in it. So pretty. The next one is Empire. And I can't tell if this is going to be opaque or if this is going to be like a glitter top coat. I think this could be opaque in two or three coats, but I'll have to test it out. So that's Empire. The next one is Valerie. And this is a really pretty like magenta, deep magenta pink with holographic glitters. Hopefully the glare is not too strong. You can see the color. I just like to wiggle it around so you can see the shimmer. This one is Juliet. This looked so pretty. It's kind of similar to Empire, the formula it looks like, um, but this is more of a rose gold color. So this is Empire. Am I holding it the right? Oh, I'm sorry. This is Juliet. Juliet is like the rose gold flaky, flaky color. Super pretty. Then we have XO. So I guess some of these sound like they might have been from like a Valentine's Day collection or something. This is really pretty shimmery, like purple, purple color. Purple with some like blue shimmers and magenta. Again, I think most of these should be opaque. I don't think any of these are just specifically glitter top coats. Um, the next one is The Message. It's a super pretty, like, I guess kind of dusty mid-tone blue with big blue flakes of glitter in it. I'm going to paint my nails with one of these colors tonight. Honestly, I might do, like, colors on every nail. I don't know, just to try it out for fun. Um, the next one I got is kind of more of a neutral color one. This is called Gumdrop. And this is a really nice, like... Um, I feel like it's showing up brighter on camera, but it's kind of a dusty pink with some glitter, some like, uh, holographic glitter. Love this one. Honestly, I, I do really want to like clear out my collection with the ones I don't, I don't reach for as much or the ones that just chip right away or that take forever to dry. Like I hate those nail polishes where it's like, you spend so much time doing your nails you wait an hour, you think it's good, you touch something and it smudges. I hate that. Um, okay, this next one is Fun House. This looks so fun. Um, it's a really pretty, like, holographic, kind of bright green. I feel like it looks more um, blue on camera, but it's definitely a green. Yeah. Yeah. The next one we have is Carrie. I think this is from like a Halloween collection or a fall collection. And it's a really pretty deep red with holographic. Is it holographic? Yeah, some holographic and just some like red shimmer in it. Super pretty. Maybe like what I'm gonna, what I'm thinking about doing is like, I have an Instagram, my wax melt Instagram, but I'm thinking like maybe in my stories or like my story highlights, when I paint my nails, I can kind of like, show you guys what nail polish I have. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. It's not related to wax, so it wouldn't be like a post, but maybe like in my stories and my highlights. Um, just cause it's like another one of my hobbies I like to do. The next one is called Surfboard. And this is a really pretty blue color. I love this next one. This is called Hi-Fi. And it's a really pretty, pretty, pretty like holographic purple color which I think is in the same collection as some of these other colors I got so I'll show you those together too. Um, the, this next one is in Park Ave which I did get but I'm kind of wondering why because I feel like I have this one. Oh you know what I wonder if I had stuff in my cart when I signed in. I don't know I'll have to look look into this because I swear I already have this color but it's pretty. So this is Park Ave. Do I have this one? I don't know. I'm going to need to look in my collection. 
Because another thing is like, I don't remember getting so much nail polish. I'm really thinking like, I wonder if I accidentally had stuff in my cart and it remembered when I signed in. I don't know. I need to double check that. Okay, and then the last one I got is Paper Heart. And this is another kind of like neutral one. I would say a neutral peachy one. Let me know like what else do you, what else is kind of like your hobbies or your interests outside of wax? Just let me know. Um, and let me know if you want me to do like a nail polish collection slash declutter video in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching. I know this is like a little bit different outside of the wax world, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.